Let's have a look at the international 9900i mod. So we'll start off with the cabin. We've got day cab, sleeper B. Yes. You have a fan. You could have the mid mid size sleeper. Oh, sleeper. We got long chassis, kind of long chassis, and regular chassis. I'm going to skip the engine and the transmission because I have engine and transmission rods in. So, interior we got wood painted and a high wood, is what they call it. Like it looks brighter to me. Moving on to the paint jobs. We got custom paint, or we got basic paint job, and you can customize it. Okay, for the bumper, let's see. We got three different choices. Here we got the hood ornament. Can't see, but that's a duck there. That one would be the swan. That's a black swan. You can add your little mirrors here to the front. If you that. No special rims, no special tires. Visors. We got good selection of visors. Add a little mirror there for exhaust. Let's beacons. Exhaust go. Tuba. No. We got dual exhaust, single exhaust, and dual exhaust uh, side cab. Here we just got horns and your cab lights. Mud flaps. Again, the rims are just basic vanilla rims. Add some fenders to it if you want to add fenders. Custom skirts. Light exhaust. Go. Step. Then you got your um, arrow kit. And I think that basically covers it. Got lights on the back there. Not a bad truck. Good looking model. Let's take it for a ride. Let's take the old uh, International 9900 out for a run. We got the Ryder Vanguard drive, or not drive van, but reefer unit on. We got a load of pallets going from Spokane to Colville. Uh, 41,827 pounds of pallets. People like their tinted windows, don't they? I don't even know how to get out of this place, to tell you the truth. I think we gotta go left here, but... I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that. Maybe, just maybe, we can squeeze by. Oh, we got it. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be.
Don't give you much room, do they? It's a good thing we didn't get the stretch frame. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Turn right, turn right, is that all you can say? This thing has the Cummins ISX 605 horsepower. Um, not sure which transmission I put in it. I think it's a 13 speed. Not 100% sure. This is pretty nice truck. I mean, ain't bad. Got some big ass hood sticking way up there. What did she say? Right, turn right. Turn right. Oh, George, this is damn. Look like I'm trying to do. It's even a good idea to even have a reefer trailer. Be better off with just driving. Hell, don't haul nothing but pallets anyway. Go straight on. Jackass. They look like they were working hard, didn't they? Keep left. Why? We're going to be turning right. Don't you do it. Oh, mother. What is the deal with this traffic? Holy crap. Right. right into the side of the trailer. Big ass white trailer. You couldn't see it there? I mean, come on. Damn it, driver. Damn, we rubbed the curve on that one. It's alright. has some big ass eight inch pipes or something. Crash cans. Wait, did I say this was through a Vanguard trailer? I think this is the utility 300 R, 3000 R. I think I screwed up there, but oh well. Vanguard's the Swift trailer. Okay. Got them mixed up. Don't mind if I squeeze right in here. 
It's a damn car trail. That will leave a mark. I don't really care too much for the gauges. It could have changed the color, but it's not an option. There's not really too many mods for this thing, or modifications you can do to it. Like it has three dashes, it's got this dash, uh, the painted dash, and then what the, a uh, wooden dash, it's, it's like a lighter color, lighter wood. Project NG, next gen Eight graphics right. mod. We are. That's it. No reshade, Third no left. NVIDIA game filter. Um, only other Have mods I have installed right. is. I got an air brake sound mod installed also. And. Um, interior sound mod and sound fix F mods so all the rest are tracks in trailers gonna rip the hole in my new reefer how am I gonna do this well we can't Hit it from the other direction because the fence is there. Let's get out and look. Do it this way. That's where we gotta go. Oh, just have to blindside it in. Back of the trailer should have been way over. I might have to work it around. straighten the truck up you gotta pull up the links of the truck oh this is gonna suck everything's so freaking small mm. to that white truck as I can. 
and we'll pivot around it. By that time we should be about halfway in it. Probably do have to do a pull up and back back straight. Problem is I run into it. Straighten her up some. That's going to leave a mark. Pull it up and do it again. Straighten it out. Go oh, shut up, Steam. as I thought it was going to be. International 9900i. Eagle. Do, 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 do. 52 miles, 2 hours, 28 minutes. 10.7 gallons of fuel. 3,204 dollars. See ya. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.